Hey guys, so we're going to look at examples of various operating systems and they are going to be put into three categories. So let's have a look. We have desktop, mobile and embedded. So desktop operating systems. We're going to just look with popular ones, mainstream ones that you guys should know. All right. So we have two over there. We have the Windows and we have the Mac and that is a desktop over there. We have a mobile. We have Android. We have iOS. Mobile meaning uh, your mobile device such as a phone or your tablet, uh, iPad or a Samsung tablet or whatever. And then of course, embedded operating systems. Now embedded operating systems, let me explain what that actually is. Okay, there we have Linux and Java. Now embedded means that it runs, uh, It's the whole operating system is contained on the device itself, okay, or inside the device itself. That means, for example, like that SatNav, that operating system, whatever it's based on, is contained within the device, it's embedded on, onto the circuitry or the motherboard, and it just runs and has a single purpose, okay. So things like microwaves with a very fancy, or Internet of Things, um, dishwashers, fridges, all of that, those are embedded OS systems, okay, made to perform a specific task for that device. All right, so we have desktop, Windows and Mac, uh, and desktop could also mean a laptop as well, okay? We have mobile, Android and iOS, and then embedded, we have Linux or Java. So breaking that down a little bit to see who did what, who makes what, here we go. So we have Windows, we have OS X or OS 10, okay? We have Android, which is also version 10 at the moment, iOS, Linux, which makes Ubuntu, we saw that in a previous video, and Java. Java is also a very particular type of operating system which runs the most incredible programs on their own. It's very cool. Okay, so who makes what here? So Windows, we already know was made by Microsoft. OS X belongs to Apple. Android belongs to Google. Who knew? Now you know. iOS belongs to Apple. Linux, nobody really owns Linux because it's open source and there's so many different distributions of it. But the guy who created it from the start, who owns the patent to the name Linus, Linux, sorry Linus, is Linus. Linus Torvalds. I don't know if it's Linus or Linus. We'll have to look that up. And then Java by Oracle, the great Oracle. All right. If you are interested in finding out more about these operating systems, I've provided some QR codes there. Go ahead, freeze a frame, scan any of those QR codes, and you'll find yourself taken to a page with some more information on each operating system.